Oh. Oh. Oh boy, maybe your heels are too high. No, my heels aren't too high. It's because I spent three hours in a car trunk. Thanks for not locking the door when I asked you to, Phyllis. <sighs> Sorry, Phyllis. You didn't know. As long as I can get to the altar. Oh, I'm gonna get you to that altar. You can take that to the bank. You ready? <laughs> you kidding? I was born ready. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but we have a little bit of a problem. Oh, no, what? The minister just told me that it's tradition for the bestish mensch to be older than the groom. Oh, come on. I've never heard of such a I thing. I haven't heard of it, obviously. But I'm out because I'm significantly younger than you. Not significant is a big well, word. I think, I think you're... Well, okay. Either way. Either <laughs> way. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. Jim. I just really wish there was something I could do. As is traditional to the shoot, the lovers are standing in their own graves as a reminder that this is the only escape from what they are about to do. You see, I get what they're trying to do, but why are the graves so shallow? Arise, my love, my fair one, and come away. For lo, the winter is past. The rain is over and gone. The time of singing has come. And the voice of the turtle dove is heard in our land. Let me see your face. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is comely. I now pronounce you man and wife. Thank you so much for coming. Now, please take your hay bales to the reception. They'll be used for seating. Complimentary hay hooks are placed along the aisles. Just stab them on in there. <laughs> ah, 